As we all know, not all misses are captains, and not all captains are misses. So today we untangle the very, very complicated history of the original Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers. Might as well start at the start. Miss Marvel first appeared in the cleverly named Miss Marvel No. 1. Prior to gaining her powers, Carol Danvers was an Air Force pilot, CIA agent, and occasional head of security for NASA. Give her a rock band, and she's pretty much Buckaroo Banzai. Carol Danvers herself, sans powers, first appeared in Marvel Super Heroes 13 as an ally for the Kree hero Captain Marvel. No, not that one. Not that one either. Nope. Wrong version. Nah. Not even close. Perhaps I should have said Captain Marvel. Oh, hell no. Really? That's as close as they got? That's Captain Marvel, asteroid clown. This one. Anyway, in her earliest appearances, Danvers helped Captain Marvel battle the Kree Sentry 459. Then, in Captain Marvel's own issue 18, she battles his Kree rival Yon Rog and the Mandroid and the Kree Psychomagnetron. Or, as we like to call it, a Phoenix thingy! During the battle, there's a huge explosion, and Captain Marvel shields Danvers' body with his own, filtering the radiation through his alien flesh and passing his abilities on to her. Fun fact. That's basically how screen printing works. And creating Miss Marvel. Her original costume was based on Captain Marvel's, but was later modified to be slightly less risque. Forget decency. That's just a gut punch waiting to happen. Her duds were redesigned again in Miss Marvel number 20, just before she joined the Avengers in Avengers 183. For the first appearance of Carol Danvers, TCMU recommends Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Season 1, Episode 25. For the first appearance of Miss Marvel, Season 2, Episode 4. Gets her pretty close to the comics, but makes Wasp super clingy and pouty for some reason. can all be winners. Still paying attention? This is where it gets more complicated. Danvers continued as Miss Marvel until getting in a bare knuckle fight with the worst possible person, Rogue from X-Men, losing her powers in the process. There's a pretty damn horrifying episode of the animated series that covers this. If you want to watch, you should totally watch. Then the X-Men took her in for a while in Uncanny X-Men 164. She got a new look, a new name, and new powers. After a stint with the Star Jammers, Danvers eventually returned to reclaim the title of Miss Marvel. No, not that one. Not that one either. Nice try. That's Marvel Girl. And definitely not Kamala. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And prove, prove to me you can beat me without. <laughs> this is the worst. Ah.